So we also got a phone call from a viewer who told us that she was waiting in line here uh, just before six o'clock this morning and the doors weren't open yet because there was some sort of malfunction with the equipment. You can see that the line stretches all the way down the block here to the entrance of PS 23 right now. They have worked out that connectivity issue with the machines, but uh, what the uh, poll worker is telling me this morning is that uh, when they were going through their checks around 545 this morning and they plugged in the machines at that point, they realized they were not connecting to the internet. And so they had to have a technician come and figure that problem out before they could get voters in line and get them to uh, actually vote because they wanted to make sure that if they had to go to paper ballots, the correct measures were being taken as well. But right now, that issue has certainly worked itself out. The good news and the line is now once again moving for voters here in Bedford-Stuyvesant. It's decision day with the future of the country at stake. The most important election of a lifetime. And before the first ballot was even cast today, over 3 million New Yorkers have already voted early in person and absentee. That's over 40% of all state votes tallied in 2016. This was a city, a state where we fought for a long time to finally get early voting. Look how involved people are, look how engaged. Many people opted to get it done early because of the pandemic. I didn't want to be with the crowds and you know, with the, the COVID and everything. Others were eager to help guide the path forward over the next four years, especially young people so who are expected to have a big voice today. This is very exciting because I'm able to make a change and I suggest that everybody should go out and vote once they hit 18. According to a Harvard poll, 63% of 18 to 29 year olds say they'll turn out to vote. And to ensure that's possible, at the city's polling sites, the Board of Elections worked we with the MTA to get 42,000 poll workers to the 1,200 locations on time this morning. A challenge since subways haven't run overnight for COVID cleaning. Charlton D'Souza had to leave Queens at 1.30 a.m. to ensure an on-time opening for voters. We want to make the experience on election morning seamless. So for some polling places, that experience hasn't been as easy as it could be. So all the kinks are still being worked out this morning as we have at least two issues now being reported to us both here in Bedford-Stuyvesant and at the Icon School as well that Dan and Betty mentioned at the top of the hour. Uh, so certainly if you are experiencing any sort of issue like this, let us know where we'll check it out. Uh, but the Board of Elections typically is on it. They knew about the problem here and they resolved it fairly quickly. Uh, so there are also Election Corps workers, volunteers, making sure that there's no voter intimidation happening at any of the polls either. There's also also supposed to be members of the NYPD guarding it as well. We'll keep monitoring the situation and report back throughout the show. That's the latest live here in Bed-Stuy. I'm Anthony DiLorenzo, PIX11 News. All right, Anthony.